Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use Geno Radio for the modulation of offset QPSK signals. OQPSK or offset QPSK demodulator is a challenging test because you have a half symbol shift in a Q channel in the modulator, so you have to compensate for this delay value in the receiver. But where is the best place for this compensation is a key point here. In a previous video, I explained the QPSK 8PSK demodulator structure. Here I just focus on how to change it to perform an offset QPSK demodulation. If you need more details, you can refer to the previous video to familiar with the parameters that I use it here. As I explained in a in that, there is a four important parameters which are essential to configure the demodulator for different target signals. <coughs> These parameters include sam <coughs> sampling or sampling frequency rate, FFC or carrier frequency, RS or symbol rate, and band BW or bandwidth. Based on my previous video, I resampled the signal somehow to a higher SPS sample per symbol, which here SPS is equal to 4. I should say we can't demodulate offset QPSK. We can demodulate offset QPSK using MPSK receiver block because this block has not any input parameters to specify the modulation type. So it has no knowledge about signal modulation type and just assume the modulation is from PSK family and so take only the order of modulation. But in the previous video I used the Castas loop and symbol sync block for QPSK demodulation implementation. Here we just need to compensate for the half symbol shift of the Q channel using that uh, previous <coughs> schematic. As you know, there is a half symbol delay in Q channel in offset QPSK modulator. And if in receiver we put a delay in I channel a branch, we will have a balanced I and Q. In fact, we compensated the half symbol shift between I and Q channel. The key point here is that the best place where apply this compensation is after cost of loop. As you know, the cost of loop's duty is the phase and frequency tracking. Therefore, after the after that block, we will have a pretty good baseband signal, which results in more balanced I and Q channel. Here we have. SPS sample per symbol, so the half symbol delay is equal to SPS divided by 2, as shown here. Then we apply symbol synchronization using the symbol sync block. If I run the project, you will see that the modulator like perfect, likes perfectly and we will have a QPC consolation in output. It is obvious because after compensation of half symbol, symbol delay, we have a QPSK. We use a practical offset QPSK signal and as you see, the demodulator lags perfectly and the output constellation shows the light status. Then you can simply, by using a constellation decoder, extract the beta stream for constellation and save it in a file using file scene. After that, to evaluate the demodulation performance, I load this bitest frame in MATLAB and by using the intool function, I plot bit bit frame length of 16,320 frame lengths. It is clear we have a theme for here that shows the accuracy of the modulation because the sync for appears in the firm exactly in the firm length of the that signal. Then
I hope it helps you.